This video today is for um, April 2019's White Dwarf first look. So let's open it up and see what we've got. So this one comes with a free gift. As you know, they've just released um, Warhammer Munchkin and it's a bookmark. Well, there you go. So there's some rules for how to include it into Munchkin in the uh, standard ridiculous way of Munchkin. Fun, nice, silly game. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, magazine though. I must say, I do like this new format of White Dwarf, They're putting a lot more content in that's of relevance to people by the look of it. So, of course, we've got our usual guest editor, Tony Cottrell. There we go. The usual bump at the beginning. Adverts for subscription, of course, like they always put. And then we have our letters page, the usual stuff. Painting question about yellow. Oh, well, there you go. So, I'm mainly interested in the painting, and I find it very uh, interesting to look at this magazine for that. And they've certainly upped their game with the painting stuff. Reader's Models is always a good section. We've got some rather nice stuff, some good shading going on here with the Trogoths. Um, yeah, this is quite nice, some very realistic metal tones going on there. I'll have a good look at those later. Worlds of Warhammer, the background of Age of Sigma and the 41st Millennium. Okay, it looks like it's Phil Kelly having a good chat. Some old classic artwork going on there. Ah, wonderful. The old Marnius Calgar artwork going on. So, nice article about that. Nice double page spread. We've got corn. It's a wonderful model. Really want to paint one of these. They look great. And of course, we can go against our Stormcast. This is Warhammer Age of Sigmar, A Tale of Four Warlords. So, they started this again last month. Looking forward to reading more about this. Loving this artwork, they're putting so much good art in there now. And then they're going on, so we've got, what are we, what are we actually focusing on this time? Mm, not quite sure. Uh, so we're just putting new models in, I think, into each of the armies. Hmm. Another great model. Alliance of Wood and Sea, okay, oh, nice colours going on there for the shark. Not shark, of course. I forget the name of it now. And then the Realm of Death, we've got an article about them. Okay, painting the armies and theming them. I, do, I love, love these when they show you about converting the models and then show it in the painted form. It really helps bring it alive and give you some good ideas. So that's absolutely wonderful. Gosh, this is great. Obviously we can see where that's come from. Land of the Dead and then some work on terrain. Ooh, that's a little more day glow than I would normally go for. Oh well. Um, the storm host, of course. There we go. That's a lovely work there. Rules of engagement. Okay. Why am I Age of Sigma Player's Code? Mm. Telling you now how to play games. Mm. There we go. More lovely stuff going on there. Quite a lot about the sort of theory behind games, it looks like this time. Lovely. New rules there Steel Souls Warrior Chamber. And painting guides for a Hallowed Knight. Okay, great. Then we move on to the 40k section. Echoes from the Warp. Mm. More tactics. Weathering Masterclass. Ooh, fantastic. Oh, these look great. Loving those. Weathering battle tanks. Lots of different techniques, airbrush and sponge and all sorts. Gosh, quite a nice long article on weathering. Loving that. And the colours of heroes. We've got Sons of Horus, Iron Hands, Empress Children, Death Guard. Obviously pre-heresy. Oh gosh, loads of them. Look at all these. World Eaters, World Bearers, Salamanders, Iron Warriors, Night Lords and Raven Guard. Brilliant. And then a Forge World section on some lovely tanks. Great long interview there. Clash of Companies and Middle Earth section. Okay, some quick reviews on those sections. Rival Warbands. Wow, campaign report. I mean, this is a lovely long one there. Gosh, Necromunda. Great double page spread. 
Art of the Underhive. Oh, more wonderful artwork for inspiration. Is it great? Okay. Okay, and then description of another battle report going on, the Necromunda this time. Another long one. There you go. And then oh, some fiction. Cal Jericho. There we go. Background stuff about him. Glory points. Okay, about Underworld's Night Vault. Some more descriptors there. Hmm. And here we go about Munchkin. Okay, might be looking to get that one. It looks quite fun. I've got a few of the other Munchkin games. That's all good. Siege of Terror. Okay, yes, of course. The uh, latest in the Black Library. A little bit of an interview there. Description of it. Reading order. And of course, telling me what order to read them. I tend to go from start to finish myself. I haven't got very far yet. Still got lots to go. Inside the studio and what they're up to. So yeah, quite a lot of nice reading there. Some excellent artwork. Free bookmark. Very exciting. And that's it for this month. Hope you enjoyed the quick, quick show of it.